Oh, the camera is saturated today. Oh, man, I... I don't know. I'm not this white, I swear. <sighs> I guess I am. Oh, we go through this every day, though. Um, seems to change the... Windows seems to change the volume of my mic, and Logitech seems to change the brightness of my webcam. There we go. Hello. You can actually see the white shirt here is way too saturated as well, not just my face. There we go. Now I actually have color. Actually, hold on. Let's try something. Okay. Nah. That's interesting. Okay. There we go. That looks like nice color. So Logitech has this right light that's supposed to automatically balance my lighting, but if you can see, if we go in the dark here, it doesn't automatically balance to the dark, which is what I would think, what it's supposed to do, I believe. And then once we go back to the bright, oh, you can actually see here it does, uh, it does balance to the brightness properly. Oh my god, so, I'm so confused. So let's complete darkness. Doesn't I don't even think it's capturing anything. Yeah, I guess I need to change the brightness myself in this case. Oh man. Now it's not now it's saturated again. Oh my god, now it's Alright, let's reset it to default. Now it's green looking, what? Whoa, wait. What is that? Why did it get a green tint? I'm so confused, wait. That's the color intensity. I'm not sure. I I guess it's green. You know what? We're just gonna go with the default default options. Like look at this. This is actually balancing pretty well, so I'm gonna go with this. Even if it's green, whatever. Alright. Hello. Today we're gonna be coding batfish online. Uh, I hopefully should be getting it actually online today. But no promises. Alright, so here's a... Uh, let me make sure everything is set up. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, it's so weird looking at my webcam now and seeing it like tinted green. I'm really curious to see if I mess things up. 
let's open everything up. The server, it's honestly a pretty small game. The main, the main thing is just in this app.js. Oh, and I actually um, found some changes to make to the physics engine here. After doing that particle simulation in the shader. Backing it up by the Epsilon instead this time. Instead of moving it back to the old position. Actually we're going to do Epsilon times 1.5 so this should do a little jitter. Which basically means the bodies won't get stuck anymore. This doesn't really affect the fat fish game. But um... It, it will affect other things later. Okay, so there's a few things that we still need to add in. We need to add in a check right here to check if it hasn't sent a packet in enough time. Um, I believe besides that we got everything else working. Let's turn it up and test. I remember the bot is working. Oh yeah, okay. So, I remember now. So it is working. Um, I was just do basically set in the polishing, polishing stage now. I need to do the fish shaders. So we can put the two bots against each other, I remember now, and they'll actually see each other. Yeah, the one thing we were deciding is whether or not to put it farther away, so it doesn't, or closer, so it doesn't take as long to pop up these blocks. Yeah, I remember. Okay. So yeah, it did pit these guys against each other. So yeah, you can see them pass each other there. So you should be able to go online now and actually reverse other players. The main thing we actually have to do is the the, um, the main part of the gameplay, which is the fish growing in size and only being able to eat each other if it's a bigger size. That, yeah, and then there's this issue um, that you'll see right here, is that the fish keep repeating in the exact same space over and over again against each other. So, I don't know if that's something I need to change, or it might actually just work fine on its own. So the fish are actually going at different parts. This one's going up and this one's going down, so they're not seeing each other. Anyways, we, uh, we know everything is working. So let's add the actual fish eating mechanic now. So this is something we're going to need to end up synchronizing across the server here. Also, you know what, while I mentioned it, Let's add this uh, check to see, uh, where is it, it's like the opposite of this, if packet time bigger than server time, 
ship, steep position, packet time, smaller than server time, plus 1000. So basically, if this hasn't sent a packet in 10 seconds, then it'll disconnect it. And we're actually going to set the, I'm going to set this to 2 seconds to begin. that happens so it'll disconnect the client it hasn't sent packets in enough time I actually get a look since this is um, this actually might skip processing a client when it disconnects another client. So what I need to do here is, is I need to do I minus minus, because it's going to remove this client from the list. Oh yeah, but then... Oh, this actually still won't work. I actually think I used this code somewhere else too, I'm gonna need to fix that. Yeah, right here, I minus minus. This is changed. Right, so for this, I actually need I to be signed to work properly. And we check if the length has changed. There we go, now that'll function properly. Alright, now let's add the size. Uh, so first of all what we need to do is it starts out at 0.5. We are going to make it start much smaller. Also, yeah, so I guess I need to I need to sync the size across the server, or I think I might have the server actually um, say what size the fish is. Because that's something that I don't actually think I need to do client side, I can just do it server side and send it across. We'll add a float of mass. Fish connects, the mass starts out as we'll do 0.1 or 0 0.01, we'll see. Try 0.1 to begin. And then one of these packets, uh, we're gonna send the, the mass over, I think. Well, for one, we know that the player's mass initializes to 0 0.1. Right here when it's playing will initialize at point one. And then the opponent we're actually gonna need to send the opponent's size over
in the new opponent packet or clear opponent, I think in the new opponent packet. First of all though, let's, uh, let's increase the mass. So this is, uh, should I, I'm already looping through the clients, so I guess I should just in increment the mass each frame. And I, like, I probably should synchronize the mass with the server every, like, 10 seconds or so, just in case it becomes desynchronized. Say that right here. So we're gonna need to change that packet, and also this thing about how there's uh, there's all these things that are clogging the console that I don't need. which I don't think I'm going to do yet. And like the final thing we need to do as well is we actually need to simulate the physics on this end, or not simulate the physics, but at least check if the path that the uh, fish went collided with anything. Just to make sure there's no hackers. That is something that I really want to make sure is in before I publish the game. So this packet's now going to become or it's now going to have this extra variable where it tacks on the mass of opposite opponent now this becomes 8 instead of 4 because it's sending an extra variable Here is a new opponent, I believe. So if enabled, then we also get the mass. update the radius you know, based off the mass. Okay, so that won't synchronize them between the server yet, but that should at least uh, have the fish grow. So then this on fish collision needs to become um, If 
player dot mass is bigger than opponent dot mass, then the player eats the opponent. And that'll just make him grow giant. Because that won't remove the opponent right now. That'll just <laughs> that'll just make the player grow huge. So we'll see how that works. Point mass to zero. So this should be kind of buggy, but it should at least have the basic mechanics of little fishy or big fishy little fish in it. So we're going to get one bot going. We're going to let it grow a little bit larger. Wait, what? Why didn't that work? Did the console.log I removed do something? Disconnected. Oh, something's bugged. That's instantly joining and then disconnecting. I broke something. Extra confused. I don't know what's broken or changed. Oh, I think it's this position packet part I added. I think it's auto disconnecting it since it hasn't sent quick enough. So another alternative I'm thinking instead of decreasing this distance is to increase the speed of the fish. that um, mission packet time equals server time oh this is supposed to be minus 2000 instead of plus 2000 Just let these uh, go through the map so they collide with each other. And while they process that, I'm going to look at increasing the speed. Engine this. I'll 
Also, I don't think I need to send the Velocity X across. Because it's basically just dependent on what's mirrored. Oh my god, that fish was massive. It didn't send the mass across correctly, it looks like. Something's... Something's wrong. I think what it is... Yeah, this needs to be Delta F. We're gonna make this um, four instead. Yeah, I don't need to send the velocity x. I could optimize that, but I'm too lazy to change that at this point. That's something I could add and I could optimize later. I'm wondering if this will also mess up the bot's controls, because it's going too fast now. No, oh, the bot's handling it great. That might be too fast, we'll see though. Whoa, those just went right past each other. takes a while to get to that entrance. Ooh, it looks like they're gonna hit each other soon. But yeah, part of the issue is they're going over the exact same map over and over again. Oh, wait. Like they switched up there, maybe? No. Oh my god, they're getting so close to hit hitting, but yeah, they're doing the same thing over and over again. That's part of the issue with not, um... Maybe, like, I need to add something to make sure it switches opponents each time, but then that's the issue, is it's better that you play the same opponent over and over again than no opponent. So eventually these guys are going to get big enough to hit each other. But yeah, I'm going to need to increase the rate that it gets bigger, I think. And if I leave these, they're eventually going to hit each other. Also, I'm going to change this music. Oh my god, it's so green. Oh man, I almost feel like changing the camera because of this. I guess not though. But I gotta switch up this bot simulation as well because this... They are not gonna hit each other. I'm probably gonna need to end up playing against the bot.
Okay, so we're gonna make them get fatter, bigger, or fatter, faster. Um, also, I think, yeah, I'm wondering how I want to synchronize the mass across the server. Like, add an extra timer. Or should I just send it with the position packet? I almost feel like... Then, then, anyways, actually removing... I'm just thinking about this. Removing the velocity x is actually a really good optimization. It reduces the amount of data it needs to send here, which is just all good. Completely good. So we actually know the velocity x from the mirrored value. And then here we're supposed to get the velocity x the opponent, the actual opponent's velocity x is just going to get set to the near value here. Which actually, wait, it's just set each frame here. We don't need to set that each frame. Eh, <laughs> it doesn't make that much of a difference. So that actually means everything should should still work. So I guess I'm going to play against a bot. I, so what I should add is a way to disable the bot so I can let the bot play through and get to a decent size. Or should I let the bot eat me? Oh god, I messed up. Yeah, I gotta fix that. So it's not detecting between <laughs> the different collisions. I actually didn't think about that, that there's two collisions here. Check whether or not the collider is, um, is the opponent or not. Hold on though, I'm gonna go and get some water.
Alright, so if Collider is opponent if fish if fish to send a packet to the server that says that we ate the other fish and we're going to need to that's also part of what I need the collision detection for is I'm going to need to actually go through and check on the server whether or not um, ate the fish or basically if it was in range and able to eat the fish You know what? I am not really, uh... My god, this camera is green now. What is... What is going on here? Huh. Well... <laughs> I guess that's the way it is. Um... I feel like part of the reason my face ends up so light is because of the fact that I have a giant background behind me and it basically like ends up balancing out like if my background was brighter I believe or if I cover if I cover more of the camera I believe it should balance out no I don't, I don't understand the light balancing on this Logitech camera anyways I am not feeling the game development this morning. I think we're gonna... Oh god. I think we're gonna go uh, do some shader and programming for the day. Get that over with. Um, hold on though, while this is like this, I just want to see... Apparently that's just green. I don't know. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna leave it like this. Uh, bear with me though. I'm just gonna switch the stream o stream title over. GLSL Shader Art. I think. Um, I think I might. So what I, what Twitch does is if you just change the stream title, it puts the video in a single video. Unless you change games, I believe. So I might stop the stream for just a minute and then restart it so it creates a separate video on YouTube for YouTube. But uh, yeah, so the stream might go down for a minute. Or it will go down for a minute, but that'll just be right back up. So hold on a second. <laughs> 